All right, the map is Europe Advanced, and these are the bonuses, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 4, 4, 5, 3, 8, 7, 6, 3, and 4. And we're the purple player, third in the turn order. And this blizzard doesn't do much, but this blizzard makes into a 1, 2 point hold for the Orient. And actually, this blizzard and this blizzard combined make into a 1, 2 point hold for Orient and North Africa, which pushes up into a 1, 2 point hold for all three of these bonuses. It's very, very strong. This blizzard doesn't do much, but this blizzard makes into a 1, 2 point hold for uh, West Africa, or a 1, two point hold for uh, Southwestern Europe and West Africa for plus 10. That blizzard makes the Iceland in one point hold right there. This blizzard and this blizzard make it into a one, two, three point hold for Russia. And this blizzard uh, splits this bonus in half and makes it into a one, two point hold over here for Scandinavia. Looks like the white player wants Russia. I'm actually very strong for the Daneric Alps and also for Southeastern Europe. Now, if I hit this right here, the black player will know that I've grabbed two bonuses. Do I agree for two bonuses in one turn? You know what? For, for content, I'm going to try, but I won't actually try to defend the Daneric Alps if the black player wants to break it. Um, let's see if we even get this. We do. And then we fortify this over to here. We don't worry about the Daneric Alps. It's very greedy to hope to hold both of these in the first turn. It's very unlikely these players will be like, I saw this guy grab two bonuses. I'm not letting him have that, you know. Let them break the, this one. The one I really want to have is this, because then I can use the weight of this to push back into North Africa and then into the Orient and have a two-point hold on all of this. This would just be gravy. Plus six for Black Player, because they went uh, last in turn order. I highly suspect them to break Daneric Alps. Luckily for me, Orange didn't break this. They might not even know that I have this. Insane that they don't break me. Plus seven for the Blue Player. What would you get to have plus seven? The Iceland and maybe a bunch of territories? You don't have this, or this, or this. I mean, if you had this, you would be getting more than seven, probably some territory. So I think they probably have Iceland, or just a lot of territories in general. Stack them all down in West Africa, so we know what you're going for. You're going for uh, West Africa. We'll lose vision there shortly. That's fine, I'm not worried about it. The, the part of the world I'm going for is actually better than what you guys are going for. Two point hold on, six, 10, 13 plus extra from the territories, right? It's insano. They're attacking a bunch this turn. I mean, they've actually probably cleared it out, so it'd be pretty easy for somebody else to yoink it from them, but I'm not looking to make them mad at me by trying to grab their territory and have them self-destruct on me for the next 30 minutes in progressive. If it was fixed, sure, I could easily push them out of there and punch them for that, but in progressive? Oh man, like half the people that to do that too will sit around for 30 minutes just trying to self-destruct cards on you. The white player's probably working at Russia right there. We might actually hold this, that's insane. I don't think we get to hold it in plus 12. These guys are going to be like, what? <laughs> what if we were to put this there and, you know, put a couple over here, I guess. Let's have threes defending this. Hopefully these guys won't break this and put the rest of this over here. Attack down into this and make sure we can uh, clear this out and love that for us. Grab another little bonus for ourselves. Fantastic. Do I attack in here as well? I've got 16 territories. We can maybe try and increase that a little bit. And I think that's probably fine. Then fortify this over to where am I most vulnerable. I feel like I'm most vulnerable up here. Let's, I mean, I'm vulnerable here and here and here, but let again, let them break the generic Alps. If they break that, we still have North Africa. Wait, I'm dumb. This could easily hit here. I think orange is not paying attention to that. Yeah, orange could have easily stacked here and broken both of those. Basically, I'm taking stupid risks and getting away with it when I really should not. I should not have held that last turn. This turn I screwed up, should not have held this or this or this, really. I should have no bonuses next turn, but whoopsie doopsies. I'm not the only one making mistakes, huh? I mean, it's the only mistake that I don't get away with it, right? All right, now we're going to get broken in, in the Daneric Alps, surely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there it is. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that. Really? Luckily for me, they didn't break both. But now we have a read on the kind of black, the player the black, th that this guy is. This guy has three troops. They started their turn with three troops. Oh, they might have been going for the Orient, and now they see me in here and they're upset about it. I think this guy was going for the Orient. Okay. Well, now we know what we need to do. We need to, um, we'll shore up our defenses. There's a chance that this is the only territory uh, this guy had in this region over here. There's a blizzard right there. Hello. So if I hit here and here, and then the black player doesn't have any around here or in here. I mean, I guess they could come up through here, but... I mean, he's only getting three troops a turn. Maybe I just, maybe just ignore this and just go back to, you know, hit this through here, fortify it forward, and just, you know, defend ourselves up a little bit. 
Did you just break the white players over there? Or did you tag here, here? I can't tell because of fog. Three for the white player. I, I, I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if they had it or not. Did you have that last turn, white player? What did you have? You... Where did you start with? You started with four. No, I don't think you've ever... You, I don't think you've held that yet. All right, 12 troops for us. Put enough there to knock orange out of there. I'll fortify like... Uh, let me put a few more over here for safety. I'm not going to try and grab the generic Alps back yet. Or I don't think I have the troops for that. I'm mostly concerned with um, protecting myself up from danger here. Get a quick card here. And then we fortify this over to here. Now I've got a four point hold on these two territories. And I've got a, a lockdown on the Orient. That way, you know, if the black player wants to try. I mean, the black player could probably... I mean, they can't card trade. If, I mean, they could stack three here. 5v5 with, with good dice breaks, and then insane dice comes and breaks me again. Hopefully not. I guess I should have stacked a little bit more over here. Maybe like 7 and 7. How many did you start with? I wasn't paying attention. 13 for you. Where are you getting that from? You you don't have this yet. You're fighting the blue player for this. Okay, so you the, the, blue, player, the blue player cleaned this out, and now you're grabbing from the 13. You probably have maybe this over here, or this over here. You're doing pretty well, but I'm also doing pretty well. You're fighting blue, I'm fighting black, the white players are having a hard time in general. I mean, if, actually, now that I think about it, once you have this and this, you can then grab Italy as well and have a 1, 2, 3 point hold on 6, 10, 14, or push through and grab this and have a 1, 2, 3, 4 point hold on 6, 10, 18. But I've got 2 point hold on uh, 6, 10, 13. You stacked 1 here. Did you bot out? You did bot out because you saw that I fought you for the Orient. That's fine. I don't mind that. The bot seems to be going in this region of the world. I'm not going to try and grab the generic Alps back because the, bo the bot will surely break unless I defend a bunch. Plus six for you. I think you do have Iceland. You gave up on this and you're chilling in Iceland. I think we try to grab this this turn. Three for the white player. They're having a bad time. I think the blue player is... Is the blue player over there breaking their uh, Russia? Or are they just, they're just having a hard time? I know I'm not messing with them. The, all right, 12 for us. I'm going to put a few over here, um, just in case. Um, actually, no, I'm going to fortify one stack over, so put a few on there, and then we'll fortify to that stack. It'll take two turns to fort everything over. And let's go ahead and see what's running around in this world. Was it just you? I wasn't sure if there's... Oh, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure who all was down here and with how much, so I didn't want to, like not have enough down here and find like a 10 stack chilling back there I can't take out but we're fine there move this forward this turn and the next turn I'll move that forward and then we'll have succeeded in grabbing our two point hold on um you know this over here and you know here and here will be absolutely nuts for us question is what do I do from there how much is orange you got 11 is somebody fighting you down there three for the bot card trades for four yeah, good thing I defended these up a little bit more. This could have been vulnerable. Bot attacks over there, okay. Fortifies in there. Nine for the blue player. I think the, the blue player might have just secured uh, the British Empire, maybe? Two point hold here and here. The question is, do I try and grab another bonus and extend myself into a uh, uh, one, two, three, four point hold? Or just kind of save it for a little bit. I mean, the bot has no card trade. I could... The bot has no card trade, so... We could hit here. Maybe we do. At least when the, the bot doesn't have a card trade. Put a few over here to protect against the bot attacking. So that's where they're likely to attack. I can have this. Uh, put you know, put a couple over here. Have this. Yeah, maybe a bit more just in case the white player gets any fun ideas. This over here. And I, I have a fortify coming in too. We'll hit this over into here. We'll, in case the bot has this, we'll break it. Like so, the bot might have had it. Do I fortify... Hmm. I fortify this over into here. I don't I don't I don't want the bot to hit that and lose three troops, so I'll fortify that to there, and the next turn I'll fortify that back. Maybe this attacks there next turn, I fortify there. Maybe we just go for the four-point hold right now. What did you start with? 17. You're doing pretty well, actually. You're doing pretty darn good. And you don't have the bot dancing around in your borders. But I'm getting 6, 10, 14, 17 as well. Yeah, you're over here, and here, and here. White player's struggling over here. Uh, blue's over here. Three for the bot. The reason I did the four-point hold here is because the bot doesn't have a card trade. If this was fixed, I would just run through and break all the orange player's territories, but it's progressive, so card trades are nutty. 
I don't want to make them mad at me right now. Car trade from blue gets eight troops. I think I'm gonna need the extra plus four. And maybe we uh, stack, you know, one, two, three, four also here in Italy to stop the orange player from ever getting Italy. I don't know if I want to go for Italy. It'd be a one, two, three, four, five point hold right up on orange's borders is not great, but I mean, maybe. If I could kill guard the bot somehow, that'd be good. Ten for the white player. I think they finally grabbed their Russia. But they're, they're going to be fairly low in troops. I think at this, like, what round are we on? We're on round six. So elimination time might be coming up soon. I need to take out the bot for cards. 24 for us is huge, but I don't want to do it yet. Card trade on 5 gives us plus 12. That's good. It's a whole lot of troops. I'm not crazy worried about getting tagged over here. Would like some, you know, nicer numbers there, though. I kind of want to keep this there to block Orange from going that direction to get the kill on the bot, though they would probably just go through me if they really wanted it, so... Maybe that's not the play. I think we're just going to go for the 5-point hold. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll tack down to here, in case the bot wants to go for that. And then we will hit this into uh, this over here. Then fortify this right over here. And now we've got a five-point hold, and we're working on Italy as well. I'm going good neighbor with them. You got 16. How many did I start with? I started with 24. Also, it's only ranked novice to intermediate. I'm doing a new thing where, like, I'll try my first match against uh, up to Grandmasters, but then if I get dunked on by some master or Grandmaster, and I'm running low on time, I'll move it down to, uh, you know, uh, expert or intermediate to get a faster match. Because, frankly, uh, beginners are more entertaining. Masters just want to go buddy-buddy and sit back and be friendly for 45 minutes and not attack, and it's a snooze fest. If I was only doing risk, sure, whatever. i grind it out, but... I'm trying to be a variety content creator. I can't be sitting here, uh, you know, playing against Matt Grandmasters who will sit in a match for three hours. I, fit, I played a Grandmaster the other day. Didn't make a video of it. Three hours and 15 minutes. Half my day on one game. One video. No thank you. I want interesting content, not snooze fest content. How many did you start with? 12. Which means you probably have Scandinavia, right? The orange player left a one and a one here. I think the orange player is doing a trust exercise with us. That's fine. I'm down to do a trust exercise with you. Blue player missing their turn over here. Bathroom break, internet troubles. Plus 10 for the white player. They bought it out. They might come back, but for now they're a bot. Hmm, wonder why. Maybe orange broke them last turn? White's over there. I think the time to get the kill on the bot is now. And then maybe I can go for a kill on the blue player as well. They got three cards too, I don't know. I can see how weak the white player is while I'm taking out the black bot. Seems like a play. 25 troops for us. No car trade right away, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and hit the bot over here, like so. Hit the bot again over here. I don't think you have a kill guard on the bot. Let's go ahead and hit this over here. And hopefully the bot is where I can actually take them out. It would be good. And let's keep working over here. Find the rest of this bot. How strong are you, white player, is the question. You have some stuff guarding, but I got the kill on the bot. You've got 20 there. That's probably the bulk of what you have for defenses. I don't think you're very strong. I don't know if I can take you out with this car trade, but um, I don't have enough to take you out. And you're also dealing with the... You're protecting me from the bot right now. So what I could do is... Um, I'm going to have 15 there, but I'm also going to have 15 back here in case he decides he wants to come through and take me out. And then I'm going to fortify this back over to here. And we call that good, because now the, the, the blue bot is going to be dealing with these guys over here. This guy gets any fun ideas about breaking this. He'll be surprised by this. And then he'll see all these here waiting bot to get revenge. So hopefully the orange player doesn't decide to go for us right now. Well, helicopter going above. Ooh, 12 there. Are you going to break me or are you just like defensively protecting yourself? If you're just like a paranoid defensive person who's only feels safe if you have more than the other player, then fair enough. I'll, I'll leave it alone. And if you're fixing to attack me, well, that's what we got. This back here to protect it. I mean, I could have this back here, but that also protects me in case you hit here. I mean, they're doing a trust exercise over here. Or maybe there's a card trading there. You get 12 troops for the bots, which is good, because if you stay a bot and don't come back, then that's pressure on the white play. Because the bots uh, in here and in here and in here, that's all they're at. And so, if, and that's just going to be pressure from the bot 12 a turn and card trades pressuring you or pressuring you. Or the bot might come into here. 
That's also a possibility. I mean, I could try to take out the, the blue bot as well. We got 26 stack right there. Plus three for the white player. The blue bot broke them, which means they don't have much troops over here. They wouldn't have anything here or here, the card trade for 20. I think they've got all the, like 20 plus 30, that's 41. They've got maybe 50 troops. The white player has maybe 50 troops. I feel, and you're attacking over here. You're trying to grab Eastern Europe. We do not let you have that. There's no world we let you have that. You've got 50 troops and the bot attacking you from behind. The time to pressure you, make sure you don't have any bonuses, would be now. I mean, if you, if I make you upset at me, you have no card trade uh, next turn. So you won't, if I hit you this turn, you can't really retaliate very much. Um, I could just maybe take you out. I don't take you out. What I do is... You can't really, re you can't really retaliate very much. What we do is we... We break, I don't want the orange player to know what I'm doing over here. I want to devastate a lot of your stuff over here. And... We'll mess you up. I don't think the orange player will know about this. If they do, they might steal the kill from us over here. Fortify this back over to here for safety. And the white player is almost eliminated right now. I could have gone for elimination this turn on them and gotten it, but I want them to get one more card so I can get three cards off them. Now the orange player might go for us now. Hopefully they don't. If they do, I'm still sitting on 147 troops and a card trade on five. I think we'll be fine. Pushing the, the, the black bot away from me so that it's not it's now these guys dealing with the bot instead of me has actually been really good for us. Okay, this guy's just playing it safe over there. I think uh, either the white player went through and broke the bot or the orange player went through and broke the bot. I'm not sure which. If the bot card trades here and does damage on white or orange, that'd be good. Nice big card trade from the bot. Hmm, I don't like that, that it's stacked so much right there. There's a chance I might hit my 26 or my 15. I wasn't expecting it all to go right there. That's a problem. Hit there, or there, or there, or there, or there. Not my 26, please. I need that 26. Okay, good. It hits the other direction. Now we should be fine. It attacks something here, or here. And lost four. Three for the white player, because what I did to them. And if they, ha if they attack over here, then I, uh... Oh, they bought it out because I broke them. Honestly, it didn't matter if they bought it out or not. Um, the, the, the best thing they could have done as a player if they stuck around was just, like, not get a card so I can only get two cards off them. It didn't really matter what they did. They were, they were gone this turn. Bought out, not bought out. I was taking them out this turn. It was just going to happen. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to hit here. We'll hit here like so. Hit this. They've got three cards. I've got two. I get another card trade after this. It's great. Bit of this. Hit you over here. We attack here, and that's great. Hit with this and just put three there. Yeah, this was this was happening regardless. They were getting taken out this turn regardless because my turn last turn was good. I could take out the bot right now to stop the orange player from taking them out. Um, or I could ignore that and come down here and devastate the orange player. Because I don't get immediate card trade for uh, taking out the bot right now. Let's go ahead and just do some damage around the world here. Nice pathing. Try and uh, not leave too many little threes behind. Get some damage on you. You've got two cards, I've got two. No matter who I take out here, I don't get immediate card trade. I just want to make sure we kind of get ourselves in a strong position. That's an 83 stack from you, is a problem. We need to damage that as much as possible. With the attackers a bonus. Because I didn't expect you to have an 83 stack there. Got That'll weaken you up a little bit. And... We... Hit the bot over here. So that bot um, doesn't get more cars to mess me up. I have more territories and bonuses, because th this guy's going to rampage through me over here. Rolled that too much. Okay. Alright, so... They only have 31 troops. We're in a good position here. He's got 31 troops. I weakened up his 80 stack. Didn't expect an 80 stack there. Should have. Um, oh, he's going for the kill on the bot. That's actually a mistake for him. Going for the kill on the bot. Because the bot only has two cards. So even if he gets the kill on the bot here, he, um... Also, he's not going to realize I, I I mean, I left one there. He's not going to know that one's back there. He's trying to get the kill on the bot for two cards. Which, um... Uh, would only give him a card tree of... That does not give him immediate card trade. So I would just take him out next turn. He needed to run through and break all my bonuses. And also, unfortunately for him, I, I on accident, kill guarded the bot back here. He didn't expect me to have the bot sitting back there. 
So now it's even easier to take them out. But even if they had killed that bot, he would not have a card trade that turn. He'd have a card trade his next turn. But I'm going to get so many troops next turn because he didn't break in my bonuses. Honestly, I think no matter what he did, he was gone. I think I think no matter what the orange player did, he was going to lose uh, 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 this turn or the next. Oops, I could have put down some... I could have card trade there as well, but there's no need. Now we'll card trade. I think no matter what happened, I was going to beat the orange player here. He could have drawn it out more and had a better chance if he had gone for breaking my bonuses, trying to eliminate the bots. But then again, you know, I take the bot for cards. I think no matter what he did, he, yeah, that'll be a good game. Well played. I think no matter what he did, he was probably gone this turn or a couple turns after that as well as going to happen because they, this was this was just a clean sweep of a match. And there it is. You'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. All new players. Okay.